I have created a new online business with zero capital. So day 5 to day 10, 6 days, she make $4,000 and this is pure profit. If you want to know what type of new business model that I have invented, make sure that you stick to the end. I will share with you this new business model is all about. How is everyone doing? Welcome back to Super Mom TV. So my friend Sean has challenged me last month to make 10k in 10 days time. So there were five of us that accepted Sean's challenge. If you have not seen all my videos, I've made a playlist of all the videos from day 1 to day 10. No, actually from day 1 to day 9 on exactly what I did every day in order for me to win the challenge. I will leave the link up here and down in the description box below. So because I have completed the 10k in 9 days time, so there will be a 9 videos in that playlist. So don't forget to check them out. So as usual, because I do eBay dropshipping for a living, so I started off with doing a lot of selling things on eBay using the dropship model. So of course, along the way, I tried new methods like doing some promoted listings as well as try to sell more expensive stuff. At the point of time, it was end of October and Halloween products were selling very well. So I tried to sell higher Halloween items like those Halloween props which cost more than $100. So in that way, if I were to sell more in a day, then it is easier for me to reach my target of $10,000 in 10 days time. So that was my initial plan. So the promoted listing failed. I didn't really sell much through using promoted listing so I was quite disappointed. I always wanted to try promoted listing because all my sales from eBay are all purely organic so I was thinking since I'm in this challenge and I desperately need to make more sales, I promoted some of the listings but it didn't work. So basically, I think it's quite useless using promoted listing in my opinion. So in day 4, I was quite stressed out because I think I didn't even reach $1,000 by the 4th day so I need to think of a new way. So on the fourth day, I have little discussion with Sean and telling him that I feel like quitting because I, I wasn't even making a few thousand dollars. So he said that it's okay, it's just a challenge. Worst come to worst, I just feel the challenge, you see. It's just a fun challenge and if you can't achieve it, it's okay. There's no p penalty for it. It's just having fun. But to me, I feel that I cannot fail this challenge. I make this as a living and I want to challenge myself to another level and I need to think out of the box. When I was doing some brainstorming with Sean, I kind of came up with an idea since I need to do dropshipping method. I always wanted to do a dropship service instead. So I have heard so much on dropship service and I didn't have the chance to start doing this business. So this time, due to this challenge, I need to put into action because I know this model will work and also it's very high in demand. So this is a summary of the business model. Basically, I need to source for customers, the customers that want video editing services. So the step one that I did, I created a brand for myself, I created the creative guys. So I put my service on marketplace in Singapore, which is the carousel, as well as I make a Facebook page for my this new brand. The next day, which is on the fifth day, I pitch some of my services to my friends because I was a former property agent and my husband is a property agent and a lot of them need video editing services. So they have approached me before previously and I kind of turned them down before. So now I crafted a package for them. Since they need video editing on a monthly basis, I crafted a package of $3,997. This package is valid for 12 months and they can engage my editing service on a monthly basis and I will throw in more design services to bundle the package of $3,997. So this is the breakthrough. Thanks to this challenge and I managed to set up a new business overnight and this business worked. So now the question is, how does this work if this challenge is need to involve dropshipping. Yes, this is exactly 
what you need. You see, the concept of what I have done is the same as doing dropshipping because the editing services, I didn't do it by myself. So I engage professionals from Fiverr or Upwork. I have some a few reliable ones that I've engaged before and they, are, they have done a very good job. And because Fiverr is a very competitive platform where they sell a lot of services online, so video editing is one of them. So what I did was I will engage them and I will have to negotiate with them a price. So the price is pretty low. For example, my package of $3,997, my profit is usually 100%. So the Fiverr service that I engage they only charge me half of the price so that's why I say I get 100% profit out of this package that I've crafted throughout the whole challenge some of my customers are my own friends some are from referrals and some are purely strangers because I have put my service out in the marketplace like carousel the moment I put in the next few days I have a few that engage me so I am really proud of myself and right now I have another new business to work on which I'm really passionate about so for this challenge Sean have a wealth event out of this and he invited all the five of us on stage to share how I managed to complete the 10k in 10 days challenge so this event is a full day event and it is a wealth event coming up next I'll be showing you a short little vlog on the wealth event and remember to stick till the end because I'm going to summarize on how many of us completed the challenge Good morning. Thanks for inviting. Okay, okay. So, so this, this is, this is May. Uh, wow, well, you wear so nice, ah. Uh. Good. Later, I wear my hoodie, lah. Anyway, anyway. Uh, so, so May, can you share with us, right? How did you actually get started? Uh, how do you? What, 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 when, when I ask you to join the challenge, right? How do you feel? And uh, what was your strategy initially? Maybe you can share them. Then later, you can now uh, we show them some website, lah. Like exactly how you do it, okay? So initially, uh, because I had been doing eBay for quite some time, so I drop ship, right? And I know that uh, drop shipping uh, from eBay, because I'm selling very small items. So 10K is like really very impossible for me. But because previously I have been uh, wanting to do some something to promote the listing. How, how low is so low and how high is high? What was an example? Um, example, this pen is selling at $9.99. $9.99? Okay. okay. This I... is called, this is the price, uh, high, uh, right? Yeah. So $9.99, then you go and find someone to sell it cheaper to you, is it? Yes, I mm. find something that is selling at uh, probably $2 or $3. 2 or $3. Yeah. So you you buy $3, you sell $0.90. Cents. Correct? Is it, uh, sorry, you buy $3, you sell $9. Yes. Okay, now, but, but the, the interesting thing is this, because uh, just now Pete mentioned about Amazon, why well, he had to go and do a lot of inventory, he do a deal headache. Uh, what, what is the difference between the way he did it and the way you do it? Okay, Amazon, you need to buy the products in bulk. Like the pen, you need to buy probably minimum 1,000 pieces. 1,000 pieces yeah, for all right. this pen, okay. Yeah, for this pen. And then you store it uh, at the Amazon warehouse. Okay. okay. So what I did was, I find, I go research for something in demand. So what I'm selling now is all physical products, right? I kind of like uh, research for services which is in demand. Yeah. So I know uh, around me, right, I have uh, uh, a lot of friends that actually need video. Right? Because her real estate agent friends, you know real estate agents, they like to take videos of their those, those houses that they are listing. And then after taking videos, someone will need to do the editing. Yeah. Okay, then share with them how you do it. Actually, a lot of them asked me before previously, but I just kind of like not, not free to do so. And I also like want to focus on my uh, job shipping. So uh, I kind of like now, because of this challenge, I find them, I go and uh, pitch to them. So I guess I'm also a YouTuber right. uh, and I do a lot of video editing. The thing is, if I were to source for, uh, if I were to do myself, that is a lot of work. So what I did was I find supplier to do for me. Can you see it's the same idea? Yeah. But now last time she sell pen, she sell pen and you also sell the Halloween things, right? Yeah, I sell a lot of Halloween things. Did, did, did they sell yes. the Halloween? Yeah, I did. So she yeah. sell at a certain price, she buy cheaper and then deliver. Understand so far? So now she turned it into a service. Service, she actually talked about, hey, sell, sell a certain video editing service. 
Then I think you sell as a package, right? Yeah, I sold as a, as a package because they need it every month. Also, oh, you need every month. You see, th th these are places, right, where you see a certain demand, when you fulfill the demand, and then she actually sells them a certain package. Same thing, I have super good suppliers. It's good quality one. You don't go and deliver them, people complain, then you also chala. So she actually did her research to make sure that their quality is good. So for video editing, she went to like uh, those freelance websites, right? Right. You, you all know there are free people doing freelance? So people sell, sell video editing services, you, you don't have to be the one doing it. Make sure their service is good, yeah. package it together, and then you actually uh, offer it to people who need it. People who can't be bothered to do their research to see which people are good. You 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 you, you make sure the quality is good, right? Yes, yes. And worst case scenario, you also can edit for them. And also fast. <laughs> yeah, uh. if, if worst, well, worst case scenario, yeah. yeah. But because the most important is the fast, uh, they, 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 they manage to deliver the service fast also, which is very okay. important. Right. And I also throw in other other perks like uh, logo design. Logo design, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. All, all the graphic design uh, service. To yeah, actually, 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 you created a new Facebook page for that, right? Yeah, I created a Facebook page. Can I so switch back? At first, I just uh, put the listing uh, to test out, right? I put on Carousel. And I was quite amazed that I got two responses on the same night. Oh, you put, so, so she put the services on Carousel. And then talk about certain packages. And then after that, this was literally created last week. And then this uh, this web page and this package, you, you earn how much in revenue? Uh, in, uh, for this alone, it's 3997 But you sold more than one, right? Uh, the rest are more like a smaller package because some of them, they wanted to uh, take like this uh, six months package, some are individual package. Oh, so in total, how much do you get? Uh, 7,000... 7,000... Seven, oh, almost 8,000. 8, okay, let's 7, say almost 8,000. Okay, now, do, do you all see how amazing it is? How many of you don't mind making 8,000 in 10 days? Who, who don't mind? Okay, so, but you see, all this happens with an idea. La. But wait, one more thing is this. La. We want to know the margin. La. Five to six days, right? Uh, I started the sales day four. on day five. Day five. Day five. Yes. So, day five to day ten, six days, she make $4,000 and this is pure profit. So, I, I don't know uh, what is the average uh, Singaporeans pay, but maybe they will take one month, they will have to maybe work every single day for her. She created a web page and then she, with an idea, can you see that? Well, it's just an idea, just a concept. She makes $4,000 in profit and plus your entire other dropshipping portion with physical products. Roughly, what is the profit you make out of 10K? Uh, about 4 dollars Oh, 4008 yeah. So about $5,000, okay, $4,008 in profits in 10 days. Is that amazing, guys? Can we give her a huge round of applause, okay? No. Uh, this, this is this is super cool uh, because her, her story is very My businesses with zero capital right. and basically zero risk uh, just to test out the market. So once the the, the thing go through, I mean they are recognized, right. then I will start to uh, scale up. Okay, so so uh, did you guys learn something from me? Yes? Okay, how many of you love shopping? Can I see a raise of hand? Shopping. So those who love shopping, maybe hey, what? more guys raise hand. Huh? <laughs> I'm surprised, okay. So, so if you love shopping, maybe this is for you because uh, you need to shop for ideas, you need to shop online. For her, she does the shopping online and she converted it and turned it into a business idea with zero capital, zero risk and make 10,000, more than 10,000 in revenue in 10 days. So unfortunately, not all the five of us completed the challenge. Uh, the first participant, Angel, she did affiliate marketing and she was so close to getting the 10k in 10 days time. So she managed to make 9,000 plus in 10 days time. Even though she didn't cross the 10k mark, but I'm really proud of her. Just using affiliate marketing, she managed to make almost $10,000 in 10 days time. Isn't that amazing? So the second person would be me. I succeeded and I managed to make 10k in 9 days time. So the third person is Wins. Wins is the biggest winner because his property investment made him $170,000 in 10 days time. The fourth person will be Glenn. Glenn was remarkable. He made an online course and he sold it on his on Facebook Live and he made more than 10,000 in 10 days time. So he is another amazing winner. The fifth participant which is Sean, unfortunately didn't make the 10k in 10 days time so he lost some in the investment so in summary three out of five of us have completed the 10k in 10 days time 
So that's all for my sharing today. I hope this sharing is valuable to you. If you have any questions about my challenge and about drop shipping, please leave them down in the description box below. I will make sure myself to look at your questions and answer them promptly. And if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye!